for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Shoes, as always. Got the start of a brand new offense from a brand new playbook for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over some run plays. The offense that I'm in today is the Arizona Cardinals. Now, if you guys want to see a bunch of fun offenses from this particular playbook, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, the formation I'm going to start this series off with is going to be the gun split slot. There's a lot of really good run and pass plays in this, but like I typically like to do, I like to put out the run plays first. If you guys want to see the pass plays, hit the like button in the comment section. I put that out next. This particular formation though in this particular video is all about the run plays now there's three run plays that really make a dynamic offense you can probably add a fourth uh, which I'll show you guys is a very specific run play towards very specific players but the top three run plays are easily going to be the shovel option which is probably my favorite the halfback gut which is one of the more important ones but my second favorite is definitely the fullback inside this is going to be very similar to an offensive formation that I put out not too long ago from the San Francisco 49ers which is still one of my very favorite run formations to use uh, but this has a very specific uh, addition, which really upgrades it, in my opinion. That's the shovel option. The previous one was really all about just the halfback gut and the fullback inside. There is a pretty good fourth play, which is the halfback tackle. I also have a ton of really good pass plays. Like I said, if you guys want to see that, a bunch of one play touchdowns and stuff like that, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. But for a fifth play, if I had to pick a fifth play, this is very specific. This is what I meant by it's very specific to how a player plays. If you have somebody that likes to shoot gaps, inside zone splits are very good at stopping players that like to try to shoot gaps so that's something that you can definitely use if you're playing against people that like to do that as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoh.com if you guys are trying to get your mutt team up you're trying to do a, a last minute team build or you're trying to get the rookie premieres done uh you don't have enough coins you don't have enough currency check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off it's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market now one of the things that i like about this particular series of run plays and one of the reasons that's one of my more favorite to use other than the shovel option of course is the fact that you really can run this play in multiple different directions you this play the shovel option for one does appear to go mostly into one direction but you really can run it in multiple directions which i'll show you later in the video but based off the fact that that the halfback gut and the fullback inside all really go in multiple directions really makes this one of the better run play schemes to run the game now i'm going to start off with the shovel option like i was saying it looks like you're forced to run it in one direction but based off the fact that the quarterback can really go in any direction they want if you want to change field you really can that's obviously not the best way to go but it's something that you can do if you want if you see something available if you see something that can really you know benefit you but ultimately this is going to be a play it's really all going to be about the pitch this is something where ultimately if i want to run it with the quarterback i can but it's always going to be best to pitch it out to the rb route and then you can see here i mean on the very first real attempt i'm hitting a one plate touchdown against one of the better defenses in the game now i did make the mistake of not switching my running backs is something i probably should have did typically I want my power back where Edmonds is and my speed back where Connor is. So if I could switch Edmonds to Connor spot and Connor to Edmonds spot, that'd really be best. But you can see really doesn't matter as I score one play touchdown on that first run anyway. Ultimately, the reason you want to do that is because you can pitch back inside, although you do have a higher chance of fumbling. And that's where you want your power back to be because typically you want a guy that can break tackles inside. So I don't have my running backs in the right place, but it really doesn't matter. I'm still having a lot of success. Typically, the pitch inside is dangerous, though. I'll try to pitch it, you know, the wrong way by mistake and you'll see you can have a lot of fumbles now there that would look like it was just an incomplete pass because that is typically considered a pass it's a pitch to it's a what do they call it a shovel pass so it can go incomplete but if you do it the wrong way and i'll try to force it the wrong way you can see that it can really result in loss of yards it can result in um you know other things like fumbles and stuff like that so it's really not worth it to me to do that very often typically it's best to just hold it with the quarterback or just basically pitch it to the running back and the reason i kept the ball there is very simple if we go to the replay when it comes to the pitch i'm only really looking for one thing is there a defender here who doesn't commit if he commits to the quarterback it's an easy read i basically just pitch it to the running back but if he doesn't if he hangs out in this area where he's basically waiting for the pitch i have to keep it with the quarterback and you can see i kept with the quarterback and there's still a lot of very successful run lanes to be had if i actually accelerated a little bit earlier maybe if i ran outside a little bit more i might have had a touchdown with the quarterback that's how explosive this play can be whether it's to the pitch or keeping it with a very fast quarterback you can have 
have explosive runs all over the field with multiple players. Although at the end of the day, the most explosive play is going to be the pitch to the running back. If you guys don't know, it's hitting the right bumper or the R1 button to make that pitch happen. And you don't have to, you know, you can pitch at any point in time. Even if you're past the line of scrimmage, like I almost was there, you can still pitch the ball late. It's just best to get it out early so that your running back doesn't basically turn to a blocker. Now, while the shovel option is definitely the MVP and probably is the play you should run the most out of this formation, they have some really good counter runs like the fullback inside and the halfback gut. The fullback inside is definitely my favorite play out of all of them. But if you have a tightly packed box like this, you can also hit them with the off tackle. The off tackle is going to be a very good look run to the outside. As you'll see, once again, we get very good blocking to the edge here. So another very explosive run. The only thing about this particular run is it goes in the exact same direction as the shovel play. So while it is a very good play, especially if you don't have any gaps, because the halfback gut and the fullback inside are really going to rely on gaps, the halfback off tackle is somewhat limited based off the fact that I want to have something going in the opposite direction to catch my opponent off guard. But if there's no gaps, like I said, this is going to be the best run play there. That guy got through, but he didn't make the play. Ultimately, it's another very good play to the outside. Now, if you have gaps inside, though, this is really where it's going to be best to hit him with either the halfback gut or the fullback inside. The fullback inside is definitely going to be better. Because the shovel option and the halfback off tackle are all going in that direction, the fullback inside has the best, has the best opportunity to catch your opponent with their pants down, not expect a counter run so ultimately this will be your best run you typically get some pretty good blocking and you take it wide in the exact opposite direction which will make it uh, something that will really you know drive your opponent up a wall because they're never going to know what angle the run plays are going even if you don't have like, a huge lane like right here i can run this against this and still have success based off the fact that it's just to me that good of a run play this is one of the few i don't think the halfback gut can really do that although ultimately this is going to have the most success against spread defensive alignments which you'll get a lot based off the fact that your opponent is going to try to spread their defense to stop the outside runs this is a perfect counter even right up the middle here you can see we have a huge hole it doesn't have to go over the guard it just has to go at some gap whether it's inside over the center or outside over the guard or tackle and then last but not least we have the halfback gut which is very similar to the uh, fullback inside i just feel like when you look at the diagrams the fullback inside turns up the field a lot quicker i feel like the halfback gut kind of forces you at a certain angle to get the handoff that you don't really get from anywhere else so to me i'm not a huge fan of that that, you know forced play art but it's still a very good run it's probably one of the better inside runs you have two really good outside runs in the shovel option and the halfback off tackle and you have two really good inside runs in the halfback gut and the fullback inside which like i said it's one of my favorite because it goes in the opposite direction every run play three out of the four go in one direction which makes it kind of predictable this one goes in the opposite direction which is like i said why it's my favorite so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see uh some passing plays and i have some very explosive passing plays out of this formation some explosive one play touchdowns hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'll put that out tomorrow other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below